There is body cam video from five officers who were on that scene, but no footage of the actual moment of impact. The family of the moped rider says they're left with more questions than answers. You'll hear from the mother in just a moment, but first, the video. The, rest of the, right? the body cam videos released this morning by Providence Police show the immediate aftermath of the crash on October 18th. Officers attending to the driver of the moped, Jamal Gonsalves, talking to him, at one point pulling his arm and questioning why he's unresponsive. Oh, it's freaking overdose or? No, he's, if anything, he's probably having a seizure from his head injury. Police give him Narcan. It was a decision made by office officers at the scene and perhaps a few. Let's administer Narcan, not sure if he was overdosing or it was a result of the crash. What the five body cam videos do not show is the exact moment of impact. As of now, this cell phone video released last week is the closest angle, showing police following a group of mopeds, motorcycles, and dirt bikes on Elmwood Avenue. Despite the new angles from body cams, the fundamental question remains, did the cruiser hit the moped or did the moped crash on its own? That's a part of our inquiry. How did he get injured? A witness at the scene told officers that he saw what happened. One cop came from this way, and then that one came this way and hit him from the back. Still in a coma. He has a very, very long way to go. You know, yeah. it could be months. It's the family held a press conference here in Providence within the past hour, and the father of Jamal Gonsalves told us he takes issue with police administering Narcan to his son following the crash.